Hello everybody and welcome to this very first JavaScript programming tutorial. In this very first tutorial we're going to explain a little bit about the JavaScript programming language and we're also going to explain the, what the requirements are for programming in JavaScript. So before we start there are a couple of things that you need to know. The first thing that you need to know is that we will need a any web browser, I prefer Google Chrome or Firefox, I uh, will recommend those and uh, we will also need a text editor, anyone you like, uh, you can use Notepad or I don't know, Sublime Text, Emacs, I don't know, whatever, uh, whichever you like you can use and the first thing we are going to do here is that we can see that in this file called index.html we have some HTML code and why do we have HTML code here is because uh, JavaScript uh, can be used uh, inside uh, an HTML uh, document so before we begin you also need to know a little bit about HTML and CSS as well but I don't think that that's really really necessary just a little bit and that's it so now we're going to write over here an script tag. Uh, what does this tag do? Let's just write this and the script tag is used to define uh, uh, that we're going to use an, a scripting language in, in an, any HTML document. So over here we have to specify which type of, of a scripting language we're, we're using. So just write text slash javascript and that should be enough uh, for telling the web browser that we're going to do some javascript coding so that's it just write this and inside this tag uh, we can now uh, start writing some code so uh, let's explain a little bit more about javascript it is used uh, for basically develop dynamic web pages why because javascript allows us to um, add extra functionalities to your websites. You can do visual effects, you can retrieve the data from the internet and add it to your site, to your web page once it is already loaded into the web browser. And right here, let's just write, write like, I don't know, a simple hello world message. This is a, a very simple program that that is very commonly used and once you do this, uh, you go ahead over here and uh, this is my file by the way this same file uh, I stored here in this directory called programs and so you need only to open this and here in Chrome you will see the message hello world and what is happening over here basically what this does is that this instruction says uh, to the web browser hey um, I want to write into this document uh, the phrase hello world and basically that is what it does if you analyze the the source code of this page you will see a hello world in the body tag because that's what you did you add uh, you added this information to your HTML document uh, another uh, simple function as for beginners, I would say, is the alert function. And this function, what it does is that uh, it uh, it deploys a pop-up window, and you will just see it like like this. Hello world. Save this, and then reload the page, and you will see this message over here uh, in this pop-up window so that's it it's a very basic function and uh, for javascript as you see over here this is a, an instruction uh, like a statement and you see i'm ending it with a semicolon uh, because uh, that's uh, one way to write in code i mean it, is, it isn't really necessary because uh, modern web browsers understand when you write uh, I mean the code and you don't really need the semicolon but it is very nice to use it um, anytime you write an instruction you can write two instructions just like that and write hey we're fine I don't know and save the document and reload the page and you see the very first message 
called hello world and then another pop-up window that says hey we're fine so that uh, I think that's fine for our very first uh, program I hope you like this tutorial and um, what I'm trying to do over here is that uh, teaching a little bit more of this language because it is very amazing how you can uh, manipulate uh, HTML documents with JavaScript and do validations and uh, uh, handle things and I mean all the extra functionalities that it adds to a website they are very very commonly used and very amazing so I hope you 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 want to learn all those things so hey thanks for watching this very first tutorial and see you next time bye